English class. Once again, this is Teacher Aiza. These were the two common household items that we learned the other day. We have frying pan or pan, and the other one is, correct, ladle. And today, we are going to continue common household items, and there are four items that we are going to learn. Let's check it out all these features. There are feature number one, two, three, and four. Feature number one, what is that? Very good, that is blender. Spell blender for me, please. B-L-E-N-D-E-R, very good. The second feature is toaster, correct. Toaster, T-O-A-S-T-E-R, very good. And number three feature is rice cooker, correct. R-I-C-E, and then cooker, C-O-O-K-E-R. And the last feature is cushion, correct. C-U-S-H-I-O-N. Let me repeat all these words. We have blender, toaster, rice cooker, and cushion. Can you repeat that, please? Well done, very good. Teacher Isa has spelling activity. I would like you to complete the words with the correct letter. We learned the four common household items. We have blender, toaster, rice cooker, and cushion. Number one, this is blender. What is the missing letter? Very good. The missing letter is N. B-L-E-N-D-E-R. Number two, what is the missing letter? Correct. It's A. T-O-A-S-T-E-R. Number three, what is the missing letter? It's I, correct, R-I-C-E, and then cooker, C-O-O-K-E-R. And the last, number four, cushion, correct. What is the missing letter? It's letter U, C-U-S-H-I-O-N. Well done, very good. Please get your English workbook, open it on page 59. Activity number 24. Look at the objects and read the names. These are the objects. There are four objects. This is a blender. Okay, what is the missing letter? It's E. Toaster. R. Rice cooker. R. Cushion. It's letter N. When you're done page 59, I want you to proceed to page 60. Draw lines from the correct words to the correct objects. These are the objects and these are the words. All you have to do is to draw lines. Welcome to mathematics class. Yesterday, or the other day should I say, we started learning Unit 6. Unit 6 is about series and ordering. And today, we are going to start Unit 7. Unit 7, Chance, Probability, and Prediction. Before we start, I would like you to look at these two features. Feature number 1, it's correct, it's a coin. What is the value or the amount of this coin? Correct. It's 10, 10 baht. As you can see, Teacher Isa put two sides of the coin. We have the head and the tail. Let me repeat. The head is the front and the tail is the back of the coin. Head, tail. Another word that I want you to remember is toes. So when you have the coin, you flip or you toss it up in the air. That is tossing. So can you say, toss a coin? Very good. We have head, tail, and toss a coin. Well done. Another feature that I would like you to look at is this. What is this? Correct, a dice. Okay, what's the color? It's red and white. Very good. Do you know that this dice has six sides and it represents some numbers? Now, as you can see, 
that side. There are only one, correct. Next, two, two dots, three dots, and then we have four, five, and six. I repeat, these dies, okay, these dies represent six sides. The sides are, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Remember, head, tail, and then the dies. Please get your mathematics workbook, open it on page 50. Page 50, Unit 7, Chance, Probability, and Prediction. In this activity, I want you to get a 10 baht coin. So this is the 10 baht coin, all right? Always remember what we have learned. This is the head or the front, and this is the back, which is the tail. Tail, head. Activity number one. Toast a 10 baht coin 10 times and record your chances of heads and tails in the chart below. Use a slant stroke for each appearance. Teacher Isa, for example, will toast this coin. I'll toast. Okay, that is head. All right, teacher Isa will put a slant stroke here. That's the head. Next, toast two. You have to toast again. Okay, another head. So I put here slant stroke, head. Okay, this one is tail. The toast number three, tail. I want you to do exactly the same here until you toast 10. After that, you have to total the appearance. And I will count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I put 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4. Okay? How many heads appear in 10 toses? So, teacher Isaac got 6 heads. How many tails appear in 10 toses? We have 4. I want you to do exactly the same as well. When you're done page 50, I want you to go to page 51. Activity number 2. Toast a dice. In this activity, we need a dice. Okay? This is a dice. We have to toast this dice 10 times and record your chances of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Use a slant stroke for each appearance. As you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And these are the toses. In your dice, we have numbers. So this is 1, that is 2, 3, and then 4, 5, and 6. All you have to do is to toast, toast 1, toast 1. So that is five. One, two, three, four, five. I put slant here. Toes two, that's one. Toes three, that's four. Toes nine, five. Toes ten, five. Okay, so we have to count total appearance. One, two, that's two. One, that's one. And two, one, two, three, four. That's four, six, zero. How many times did one appear in 10 toses? Only two times. How many times did two appear in 10 toses? It's only one. How many times did three appear in 10 toses? That would be two. How many times did four appear in 10 toses? That would be two. How many times did five appear in 10 toses? That would be four. And how many six? That is zero. Welcome to our science class. These are the vocabulary words that we learned last time. We have healthy, sick, happy, weak, bathroom, and kitchen. In today's lesson, we are going to continue personal hygiene. And I have here six vocabulary words once again. Let's check out all these pictures. Picture number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Do you know all their English names? Very good. Let's check it out number one. If you go to the beach, you can see this one. What is it? Sand, correct. S-A-N-D, sand. Number two. Yes, when you take a shower or you wash your hand, 
we use soap, correct? S-O-A-P. How about picture number three? What is that? Yes, when you want to cut your fingernails or two nails because they are long, you have to use nail cutter, correct? It's N-A-I-L-C-U-T-T-E-R. Number four, very good. So when we cook our food and we want to slice fruits or vegetables or the meat, we have to use knife, knife, K-N-I-F-E. Number five, what is that? Yes, when we have dirty clothes, what does your mother do? Wash, okay, wash. It's W-A-S-H. And number six, that would be, yes, when you have clean clothes and then you finish the shower, you put your clothes on. So you wear your clothes. So it's up to say wear, W-E-A-R. Let teacher Isa read all these words. We have sand, soap, nail cutter, knife, wash, and wear. Teacher Isa has an activity here. I would like you to complete the sentence using the correct word. Three sets. Set number one, we have two peaches, sand and soap. The sentence that I would like you to complete is this. We wash our hands with, very good, soap. Number two, we have nail cutter and then knife. The sentence is, we cut our nails with very good nail cutter. And the last set number three, we have wash and wear. When our clothes are dirty, we, is it wash or wear? Very good. We wash them. Good job, kids. Please get your science workbook. Open it on page 58. Activity number 10, 11, and 12. Activity number 10, choose the correct word and object that match the activity. This is the activity. And these are the objects or words here. One, we wash our hands with, is it sand or soap? Correct, So. We cut our nails with, is it knife or nail cutter? Correct, nail cutter. When our clothes are dirty, we wash them or wear them? Correct, wash them. Thank you so much for listening and for learning with Teacher Isa today. I hope you understood all the lessons from English, science, and mathematics. Don't forget to finish all your activities in your workbook. Teacher Isa will check them as soon as possible. Have a good day, enjoy your time, and see you again next time. Goodbye!